Good morning. This is Kevin Hooker with Ward Realty Services and um, Joseph and Dylan with uh, Rupal Home Inspection stopped in this morning and going to talk to us about uh, air conditioning, uh, maintenance, tips you should, should be aware of, especially this time of year where we're hitting those switches and switching from heat to cooling. Um, so they've been nice enough to come in and talk to us about that. So what we're first going to talk about is, especially what we recommend is in the springtime and in the fall time, uh, have a HVAC company come out and clean and service uh, the units. Um, what they will do is they'll come in, they'll look at pulleys, um, kind of make sure that everything's running, mm -hmm. look at the motor itself, make sure that it's running uh, correctly. Sometimes uh, the blower motor for that tends to get condensation right. um, to where it starts leaking. If that's leaking, you're going to get rust in your cabinet, things like that. But what they'll come in, they'll look at all that, they'll clean all the ductwork, make sure that everything's um, cleaned from that aspect so that um, the efficiency of the um, the unit is working. But um, another thing that you can do that's just a simple thing that really doesn't require the HVAC company to do is to clean uh, air filters. Okay. There's a lot of air filters. Um, some of the times it's just one. Some of the times I'll see three or four in a house. Right. So most of the time they'll just replace the one but not the three or four that are also working with the unit. Mm -hmm. So it's very crucial to make sure of how many air filters you've got and how many that you need to be replaced because normally you want to replace them every 30 days or the manufacturer recommends replacing them every 30 days it just depends on what your furnace is doing and how dirty it is mm -hmm. some of the times 15 days and it's already caked up so you just want to yeah. be monitoring it um pretty pretty um, you I'll can also clean, <laughs> clean the ductwork. Yeah. If you clean the duct inside yeah. the duct lines, there are several companies that will clean the lines, and that helps clean the filters. Mm -hmm. So the exterior unit, you've got an outside unit, right? And basically, what that does is it cools the air. Um, so you want to make sure that's nice and level. Mm -hmm. And you know, we talked about we were, we did a house that the house was only 15 years old, and they just replaced the air conditioner. When we were there, the new air conditioner is already coated with dryer. Oil. Oh, wow. So the dryer was just dumping right on top of her. Okay. So you want to make sure that's kept away. And then there's still, there's a, the big fat, there's a big line on the air conditioner. We call that the suction line. And you want to make sure that's insulated well. Okay. So if you get those those things on the outside unit, and then as Dylan was saying, on the inside unit, you clean and service it. Now, one of the good things about air conditioner, um, 80 degree day with no humidity feels great, mm -hmm. but 80 degree days with lots of humidity feels so sticky. It's right. Nice. The good thing about air conditioning is it pulls the moisture out of the air. So you want to make sure those drain lines, however they drain, sometimes you have a, a drain pane mm -hmm. that's been cleaned out. The draining mechanism needs to be flushed and cleaned. Okay. Because it's sat empty all winter. Yeah. So sometimes the brewery or spider nests or things have happened. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that's all clean as well. Okay. And also looking at the uh, electric connections that are mm -hmm. inside your unit, you don't want a 95 degree day and then you come home and it's 80 yeah. degrees on the walls and you're right. sweating. Um, so just checking those connections because you never know mice, anything like that could get into that unit and they could start chewing. Um, you just want to make sure all those are connected the way they need to be. I know some of the times it gets bumps. Um, yeah. Especially if they come in and service it. I, HVAC companies do a great job, but some of the times it might hit one of yeah, them. Just by it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you just want to make sure that they're all connected the way they need to be. Yeah. And it's talking to us about the houses. How can we conserve enough house? Okay. So the biggest thing with the house, because like he's saying, um, the we're talking about the unit itself, we can help promote the life expectancy of the unit just by doing things around the house, such as um, attic insulation, mm -hmm. making sure that you've got adequate amount of insulation, um, caulking around windows, right. certain things like that, um, making sure that your windows are closed before you go to bed or whenever you leave the house. Yeah. Um, I've seen it time and time again, time and time again, where the um, windows are just a crack open. Yeah. You never see it, um, but right at the top. Yeah, so we're, the time yeah we're the bottom, the sometimes you're looking at the bottom. Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's dropped down a little bit, and you leave that open a little bit, and you'd be surprised sure. how much air comes in. Yeah. Well, and especially yeah. if the room that the window's open in 
and then you come home and you're like, why is this room 80 degrees, but the other rooms are ice cold. Yeah. Um, I've had that happen. <laughs> but um, just going and making sure that you have all those, especially the caulk around the windows, because what mm -hmm. your unit's trying to do is keep that inside temperature cool, but whenever you have those, you know, um, you have those factors, what that will do is pretty much have all the um, air go to that area. Because okay. cold's gonna go to heat, heat's gonna go to cool. So in the, especially in the winter time, that's where a right. lot of your heat is going out just because there's, it's wanting to draw to that area to either heat or cool that area. Mm -hmm. And then like you mentioned also, um, you can get a programmable thermostat. Yeah. And they've got some neat ones, some Bluetooth. So when you get to a certain distance from the house, it changes the temperature. So by the time you get to the house, it'll be at the set temperature. Oh, nice. And now a good rule of thumb is for the closer you are to the outside temperature, the more efficient you're going to run. Um, as I mentioned earlier, by taking the moisture out of the air, it makes it feel better. So you can kind of kick it up 72, 75. The closer you are to the outside temperature, the more efficient you're going to run. So if you kind of dial, you know, your furniture doesn't have to keep these in the seventies. Right. So we kind of kind of let it up, let, you know, shut it off for a while, and then cool it back down. Mm -hmm. okay. And especially when going on vacation. Yeah. If you're not needing it, you right. know, don't have it There's where it's sixty-eight, too, but... sixty-nine yeah. degrees on a ninety-degree day because <laughs> it's just going to be running constantly. Right. Yeah. So uh, you know we talked about a regular air conditioner. Yes. A heat pump is very si similar to that. Excuse me. That's correct. Um, <laughs> uh, generally, a heat pump is the same way because basically what happens is a heat pump uh, takes the heat out of the air, out of the mm -hmm. house, and brings it outside. So it captures the heat. It moves heat. It's very efficient because it just it's just running a fan. And okay. Just transferring heat. Um, <clears throat> as we go through, then it will. Um, they, and that's just, it, it just captures the heat from inside the house and takes it off. Let's see what else we have on the list. Thermostat, we talked about the programmable thermostat. Um, ductwork. Yeah. I see them in the ductwork. Do you want to talk about sealing? Yeah. Them? So sealing the ductwork, um, they'll use, it's almost like a, a silver tape. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen it painted, which is like the top of the line where they'll, they'll uh, seal it with that tape and then they'll paint over top of it. That and insulating ductwork, um, especially we get in crawl spaces all the time, and you'll see or attics and crawl spaces as well, um, where it's in a heated area mm -hmm. or somewhere that continuously gets hot. But your uh, unit's trying to run a very cool air through that, so then it starts condensing. Then you have water in the crawl space. You have you know areas, yeah. things like that. Right. So you just want to make sure that those are insulated to where it's keeping that air cool. Um, throughout because like some of the times I've seen and I'm sure he's seen it multiple times where the uh, ductwork starts um, rusting mm -hmm. and then you get holes in the ductwork and then the duct, you know yeah. your air is going in places that it should go right. and it should be going in the house. <laughs> yeah. I think worse than that yeah. if uh, I know some of uh, those holes uh -huh. things crawl through those holes <laughs> and then they're in your house and it's like how did this get in my house? It's Big spider, it's you know, it's summertime, so right. big spiders and crickets and all kinds of things are going to be in there, yeah, yeah. And it, it'll make it feel it'll be more efficient, yeah, have those sealed up and help us save a few dollars, yeah. As we go. And that's a good thing, <laughs> Better think. that's it. All right, well, folks, we hope you enjoyed this video this morning. Um, if you have any questions, I'm sure you could give. Joseph or Dylan a call at Rubel Home Inspections. What's your guys' number? It's 812-945-7478. And if you have any real estate needs, please give me a call, 502-396-4969. Thank you and have a great day.